On Saturday the 6th of May, the King of the United Kingdom, Charles III, will receive the long-awaited crown after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The coronation ceremony will take place at Westminster Abbey in London and will be attended by around 2,000 guests. During the ceremony, the oldest member of the royal family to accede to the British throne will receive a number of the jewels belonging to the royal family. The crown, the scepter and the orb are the three symbols of his kingship. The first of these, the crown, is the most precious jewel of the British royal family and Charles will wear it only once. It is the historic St Edward's crown and will be placed on the head of the King of the United Kingdom for a short time, following a very ancient ritual. What is the St Edward's crown and why is it only worn once? As the British royal family explained in a video shared on social media, the crown jewels are the nation's most famous treasures. They are part of the royal collection and belong to the monarch, who holds them on behalf of the whole country. There are more than 1,000 jewels, including orbs, scepters and crowns. In the case of St Edward's crown, it is the historic gold crown used at the coronation of the new monarch. It was made for Charles II's ceremony in 1661 to replace the medieval crown cast in 1649 after Charles I's execution. This crown has been used for all coronation ceremonies since Charles II. The frame of the crown is made of solid gold. It weighs just over two kilograms and is decorated with rubies, amethysts, topaz and sapphires. Importantly, it is only used once in a monarch's reign, namely at the coronation. It is a very old tradition that is still followed today. It is worn only once because it is the most important piece of jewellery in the British royal collection due to its importance at the coronation, symbolising the beginning of the reign.